Hi future scientists, I am Atom. Today we are diving into two more key concepts in kinematics, speed and velocity. Speed. Mole is biking to the library which is 4 kilometers away from her home and she arrives in half an hour. So what is her speed? Speed is defined as the distance covered in a specific amount of time or simply the rate of change of distance. So we can write this as speed s equals distance d divided by time t. So mole speed is 4 kilometers divided by 0.5 hours which is equal to 8 kilometer per hour. Notice that the unit for speed depends on the units used for distance and time. Since distance is a scalar quantity, speed is also a scalar. This means speed has only magnitude or a numerical value and does not account for direction. A cheetah, one of the fastest land animals, is sprinting at a speed of 30 meters per second. No matter which direction the cheetah is racing, its speed only indicates how fast it's moving without accounting for direction. Velocity. Isaac is rollerblading eastward from his home to a park 10 kilometers away and it takes him one hour to get there. So what is Isaac's velocity? Velocity is defined as a displacement in a specific amount of time or the rate of change of displacement. So velocity v equals displacement delta d divided by time t. So Isaac's displacement is 10 kilometer east or plus 10 kilometers. V is equal to delta D divided by T. So it is plus 10 kilometers divided by one hour. So that equals plus 10 kilometer per hour or 10 kilometer per hour in the eastward direction. Since displacement is a vector quantity, velocity is also a vector quantity. This means velocity has both magnitude, a numerical value and direction. Isaac rollerblades in a westerly direction back to his home from the park at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Now his velocity is 10 kilometers per hour west. So his speed stays the same, but his velocity changes because the direction has changed. Also notice that the unit for velocity depends on the units used for displacement and time. Instantaneous speed, average speed, constant speed. Not all objects maintain the same speed throughout their journey. They can speed up or slow down along the way. The speed at any given moment is called instantaneous speed. Let's picture Mole and her mother traveling in their car to a nearby town. On their journey, the car stops at a few traffic lights, slows down for sharp turns and speeds up when the road is clear. If you check the speedometer at any point during the trip, the number you see is the instantaneous speed. Suppose Mole and her mom travel 300 kilometers over a four-hour trip from town A to town B. Their average speed for the whole journey is equal to total distance divided by total time, which equals 300 kilometers divided by four hours and that equals 75 km per hour. Keep in mind, the car was not traveling at exactly 75 km per hour the entire time. The average speed simply reflects the overall pace with instantaneous speeds varying throughout the trip. What if Mole and her mom drove on a long straight road at a steady 50 km per hour with no stops or changes? which means they were moving at a constant speed. So constant speed means the object moves at the same speed without speeding up or slowing down. Instantaneous velocity, average velocity, constant velocity. Instantaneous velocity is the speed and direction of an object at a specific moment in time. For example, at the moment of takeoff, the airplane's instantaneous velocity was 250 km per hour east. Average velocity is the overall displacement divided by the time it takes for the change in position to occur. So we can write this as average velocity equals delta D divided by delta T. Suppose Isaac is on a train traveling 12 km east 
than three kilometers west, all in one hour. We can calculate both its average velocity and average speed to see the difference. So average velocity is total displacement divided by the time interval. And here the displacement is plus 12 kilometers plus negative three kilometers because it's east-west direction. So that equals plus nine kilometers or nine kilometers east. So average velocity equals plus nine kilometers divided by one hour. So that equals to plus nine kilometer per hour. Average speed equals total distance divided by the total time. And here the total distance is 12 kilometers plus three kilometers, which equals 15 kilometers. And the average speed is 15 kilometers divided by one hour. So that equals 15 kilometer per hour. In another scenario, Isaac's train travels straight eastward, let's say, at a constant speed of nine kilometers per hour for the entire trip. In this case, his velocity would not change because both his speed and direction are not changing. And we call this constant velocity. So constant velocity means having both a constant speed and a constant direction. Question one, Isaac jogs three kilometers south in 20 minutes then turns and runs four kilometers east in 30 minutes. What is Isaac's average speed and average velocity? Total distance here equals three kilometers plus four kilometers equals seven kilometers. And the total time equals 20 minutes plus 30 minutes. So that is 50 minutes. Or we can convert that into hours, which is 0.83 hours. So average speed equals seven kilometer divided by 0.83 hours which equals 8.43 kilometer per hour. Since Isaac is jogging at a right angle, his overall displacement equals square root of three square plus four square, which equals five kilometers in the southeast direction. So his average velocity equals five kilometers southeast divided by 0.83 hours, which equals 6.02 kilometer per hour southeast. Question two. A drone flies 150 kilometers north at a constant velocity of 50 kilometers per hour, then flies 200 kilometers east at 50 kilometers per hour, and finally returns to its starting point along a straight path at 50 kilometers per hour. Calculate the drone's total distance, total displacement, total time, and average velocity. So total distance is 150 kilometers plus 200 kilometers plus the square root of 150 square plus 200 square. And that equals 600 kilometers. Total displacement is zero kilometers because the drone returns to its starting point. And so the total time here is total distance divided by the average speed. So total distance is 600 kilometers divided by the average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. And that equals 12 hours. Average velocity is total displacement divided by the time interval, which equals zero kilometers per hour. Question three, Mole travels by train from town A to town B. She covers 100 kilometers in two hours, takes a 30 minute break, then travels another 150 kilometers in three hours, all in the same direction. What is her average speed for the entire trip? So average speed is total distance divided by total time, which equals 250 kilometers divided by five and a half hours. And that equals 45.45 kilometer per hour. Question four, Albert bikes 30 kilometers east in one hour, then turns west and travels another 40 kilometers in two hours. What is Albert's average speed and average velocity for the entire journey? So total distance is 30 kilometers plus 40 kilometers is 70 kilometers. Total time is three hours. So average speed is 70 kilometers divided by three hours, which equals 23.3 kilometer per hour. Total displacement is plus 30 kilometers plus negative 40 kilometers. So that equals negative 10 kilometers or 10 kilometers west. Average velocity equals negative 10 kilometers divided by three hours. So that equals negative 3.3 kilometer per hour or 3.3 kilometer per hour west. Question five, a boat travels 40 kilometers upstream at a constant speed of 20 kilometers per hour, then travels 40 kilometers downstream 
at 20 km per hour. What is the total time taken and average velocity? Total time is total distance divided by the average speed, which is equal to 80 km divided by 20 km per hour, so that equals 4 hours. And the average velocity equals 0 km per hour because the total displacement is 0 km. Question 6. A squirrel dashes across tree branches. First, it runs with an average velocity of 5 meters per second east for 3 seconds. Then it sprints with an average velocity of 4.2 meters per second east for another 2 seconds. What is the squirrel's displacement from its starting point? Let's find the displacement for the initial run, which we call displacement 1, which equals the first velocity times the first time which equals plus 5 meter per second times 3 seconds, which equals plus 15 meters. Next, we calculate the displacement for the second run. Displacement 2 equals velocity 2 times time 2, which equals plus 4.2 meter per second times 2 seconds, and that equals plus 8.4 meters. So total displacement is plus 15 meters plus the 8.4 meters, and that equals plus 23.4 meters, Question 7. The position time graph shows Ion's trip to the ice cream shop and back home. What is Ion's average speed for the entire trip? The total distance here equals 6 kilometers because 3 kilometers to the shop and 3 kilometers back home. Total time equals 25 minutes. So average speed is 6 kilometers divided by 25 minutes, which equals 0.24 kilometers per minute. What is Ion's average velocity for the entire trip? Here, Ion's displacement equals 0 kilometers because the starting and finishing point are the same, which is a home. So average velocity equals 0 kilometer per minute. Question 8. An ostrich runs at a speed of 15 meter per second for a distance of 2 meters. Then it runs at a speed of 10 meter per second for 3 meters. What is the average speed of the ostrich? So average speed is total distance divided by total time and here the total distance is 5 meters. The time to run 2 meters at 15 meter per second is distance divided by speed. So that equals 2 meters divided by 15 meter per second equals 0.13 seconds. And time to run 3 meters at 10 meter per second equals 3 meters divided by 10 meter per second which equals 0.3 seconds. So the total time is 0.13 seconds plus 0.3 seconds, so that equals 0.43 seconds. So her average speed is 5 meters divided by 0.43 seconds, which equals 11.63 meter per second. Question 9. The boat travels 10 kilometer west for half hour and then turns around and travels 7 kilometer east for half hour. What's the boat's average speed? What is its average velocity? So the total distance is 17 kilometers. Total time is one hour, so average speed is 17 kilometers divided by one hour, which equals 17 kilometers per hour. And the average velocity is total displacement divided by the total time. So in this case, the total displacement is negative 10 kilometers plus 7 kilometers, which equals negative 3 kilometers. So the average velocity is negative 3 kilometers divided by the one hour, which equals negative 3 kilometers per hour. Question 10. An amusement park train travels on a circular track of radius one kilometer. It completes one round in one hour. What is the train's average speed and average velocity? Average speed is total distance divided by total time. The total distance equals the circumference of the circle, which equals two pi r, and that equals two times 3.14 times one kilometer, which equals 6.28 kilometers. Average speed equals 6.28 km divided by 1 hour, and that equals 6.28 km per hour. The displacement is 0 km since the starting and finishing positions are the same, so the average velocity equals 0 km per hour. There you have it, speed and velocity. Please subscribe, like, and share for more fun science content. Happy learning. Thank you.